Good morning guys from Serbia. I'm here with my good friend Trouble Chris. He's an American YouTuber. He's been in Belgrade for how long now? About a month and a half now. Yeah, Chris knows Belgrade like the back of his hand. He's been here before. Ooh. And uh, yeah, you do. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I've got I got a little bit down, but today we're actually going to go explore a brand new area that's going to be completely new to both of us. We're heading over to Gardosh and yeah, I haven't been in that part of the city before however it's only about 10 minutes away from the city center and it's one of those places that everyone must visit when they visit the city everyone's been recommending it to me and I've just been holding it off but I met him last night as soon as he got here and I was like yo we have to send it together <laughs> well yeah like I say I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to explore around and it's like what is it nine o'clock this morning nine nine o'clock o'clock now? yeah roughly. so it's early morning for me and all of a sudden we've got a drink uh the national drink called rak rakiva rakia rakia, rakia. rakia. <laughs> okay right okay so that's a good start to the morning and and this was actually bought to us by a stranger his na his name was Fook. he met us and about five minutes into the conversation he had to leave and he said would you guys like a drink and he bought us these and just left crazy so that's great serving hospitality i'm liking this place already cheers good health <laughs> Great start to the morning. Okay, so I've just bought another rakia because I messed up Chris's vlog, so... Excuses, excuses, <laughs> he wanted another one. You know, rakia in the morning. <laughs> I don't know, good health. Good health, good health. <laughs> mm. Oh man, you definitely need some water after that one. Whoa. Okay, so that rakia has definitely woke me up. I'm looking forward to today. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> I'm freezing. It warmed me up pretty nice. But yeah, I think we should get on out of here. I think we should walk on up to the street. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. probably just well down a cab. Actually, I'm gonna hop onto an app right now called Cargo. If you're coming to Serbia, you need to use that. I'm gonna app, hop onto this app, see if I can get us a ride. If we can't, if no cars are available, we're just gonna walk up the road and just hop yeah. into a cab. I don't, I don't know about walking, I think more like crawling. crawling. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a bit drunk now. <laughs> so, it's all good. All good. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the taxi, we're in Gardosh. Um, the hill we're walking up now, I'm breathing out my backside. You know, not very <laughs> fit. But yeah, Chris uh, has done his research. They got something called the Gardash, the Gardash Tower here or something. Yeah. Not too sure what it is or what it stands for, but yeah. it's pretty iconic and recommended to visit, so we're here. Right, so we're gonna have a little look at that. Uh, here we go, there's a map. Right, so we are here. The tower is just that way. Yeah, what is it with hills? Everywhere I go is like loads of hills. I need to get fit. <laughs> it's not like Darth Vader. Seriously, same. <laughs> You've been working out though, haven't you? So you, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slightly. <laughs> well, you know. Twice a week, better than nothing. <laughs> well, obviously, You've been having a lot of Serbian food, so you need to kind of do your bit as well. I gotta get out and walk, especially in these <laughs> moody days. Some days you wake up and you don't feel like doing anything. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll have a little breather. Yeah. <laughs> it's that rakia. That's just totally... I don't know. There you go, guys. The Gardash Tower. It's a very impressive building padlocked at the moment so you can't get in. I wonder who lives here or did live here. So it looks like there's a uh, great views from here. Let's have a look. Now, there's also a pub here, the Gardash pub. There's a few people in there already. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and they're playing The Doors, one of my favorite bands. Can't drink any more beer, not yet. Got to pace the day, otherwise I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> in trouble. So it's going to be very messy, I think. It took about 20 minutes to get to Gardash from Belgrade. It was about six dollars in the taxi, which is not bad. But yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Like I say, with views, views like this out here, no brainer. Okay, we're now to a place called Cafe de Ria Gardas. That's a recommendation by Chris. It's supposed to be a real popular cafe around here. They do rekia, beer, coffee. 
What should we have, guys? Beer, rakia, or coffee? What do you reckon, Chris? A little bit of, a little bit of each. <laughs> a little bit of each. Right? Why not? So apparently the uh, cafe is three minutes walk from the Galash Tower, which is good. So who recommended this cafe to you? Was it subscribers Man, just, or...? Yeah, people on YouTube and then a lot of people on Instagram. Right now it's one of those like real trendy Instagram spots, like cafes yeah. with Christmas decorations. So Nice. Looking forward should to... Should be cute. Should be cute. Yeah, looking forward to seeing this. But no, first impressions of Serbia so far. I've got to say, I'm liking what I see. <laughs> Somebody's woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning. Maybe he needs rakia. That'll cheer him up. <laughs> I think that'll fix him up. For sure. Calm him down a bit. Bloody hell. Really like this place. Love the flavour. Feels like Christmas. November. <laughs> Getting all festive now. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Da -de 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 -de. That's it, I'm getting to the festive spirit. Right, let's go and get a beer. This is going to be messy today, I can feel it. But I just went inside the actual uh, bar and there was playing Christmas music. And like I say, I like, I like the Christmas period. It's just like my favourite time of the year, November. We're getting to it now, beers. What more can you ask for? Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Okay, this, this beer, Chris tells me, it's called, what is it? Zajersko. Zajersko. And that's a famous beer around here. It's a famous beer around here. It's my favorite, to be honest. And it's found, like, uh, it's named after a city here in Serbia. I'm not sure where the city is. Like I said, everything that I'm telling um, my buddy here is just shit that I learned while I've been here for a month. Like, there you go, Zajersko. Can you read that? If you're English, maybe not. You Maybe Serbia? Not, mate. Yes. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. What is this? Yeah, if you if you try to read the bottle, you'll be a little bit confused, but I know how it's pronounced because I've been told like a million times. Yeah. But for about the first three weeks, dude, I kept trying I kept saying like, mm. I'll take the red beer, the red one. Mm. And then they're like, red one. Mm. And then I point to the red label. So Zajersko. To be, to be fair, when I'm a bit drunk, I can't read labels on anything. Anyway, it doesn't matter if it's English Even or... Even if they're in English. <laughs> yeah, so it's not happening. Fair enough. And I have a feeling we're probably getting there today. We've had two Rakias, one beer. Let me, check. Let me give you a time check. It's 11. It's 11, <laughs> baby. Record-breaking time. This is how we do it in England. I'm, I'm bringing a piece of England to... You know, Serbia, uh, Mimania, across the pond. And all the Serbians are going to be leaving comments <laughs> like, this is how we do it in Serbia. <laughs> well, it's probably how you do it in America as well, because I know you guys hit it hard as well. Dude, we like to hit it hard quite often, except like where, where I come from and, and me and my friend group, we do Sunday fun days, where essentially we wake up on Sunday mornings, we start day drinking with mimosas, and eventually end up at the tequila, and by 6 p.m. we're done. Everybody's passed out. Right. I think I think we're gonna have to pace ourselves today. I think yeah, maybe that's... coffee next. <laughs> and some lunch. Let's go find some food after him. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, good let's stuff. Do it. Cool man. Let's go find some Serbian food. Cool. He's All gonna good. try his first Serbian meal. Let's do it. Buzzing. Okay, so just a short walk from the cafe, there's the River Danube, which you can see here. It's very calm and peaceful. There's a gentleman going out on his boat. <laughs> Hello. People in Serbia are very friendly. I'm liking the vibe here a lot. I say, what is he doing? Is he going fishing? I think so. Yeah? I think so. Maybe fishing. Catching tonight's tea. <laughs> yeah, I uh, wonder if you can get me a cod. I say, we'll have a uh, fish and chips. <laughs> But no, very calm, very peaceful. Nice place to walk, chill out. Yeah, I've just landed in, a, like I say, in Belgrade. It's my first day. And recently, uh, the bars have been open since 11 o'clock. Was that? Was a few weeks ago? Then, yeah. it, was, then it was 9 o'clock uh, a couple of days ago. And now uh, today's 6. Yeah. Six o'clock, so that's why we're getting our drinking in early. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, it's just, just my luck. I come here, six o'clock bar close. What can you do? Obviously drink early. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're at the Gardosh Market, as you can see. A lot of hustle and bustle, things going on. Some nice fresh fruit there. Looks all very good. Clothes. Here's Chris, he's uh, have a look at a few. Ah, a few things. 1,000 for some Adidas. Adidas sweats. How much is that in uh, dollars? 1,000 is 10 dollars. Here we're at another street seller and the price is, what is it? How much is it? 1,200. One, so 1,200, so same kind of price all over. 1,500 for the sweat top as well, Nike. Nike, Nike. There you go. Nice, okay. They look good quality. I'll take, I'll take. I'll say 1,200, can't go wrong. That's not bad at all. So he's made his purchase. Wait, mate. Straight Let's in see. there. See if I can get it for 1,000 now. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can. <laughs> can I do, can we do one? Oh, uh, no. 1,000, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Do you reckon you're gonna get a bargain or not? No. I don't have 1,200. Uh, this is not mine. This, yeah, this but. This mine, uh, I. Uh, okay, okay, let me, let me see, let me see for some other ones real quick. Wait, are these ones 1,000? One more than your store. One, one, one. Your store. Name, no, for one. No, no, no. Which one? Which one? Uh, for one. This. This. Oh, model. Uh, oh, okay. You got Adidas there as well? Yeah, but they're thin. Like, oh, uh, right. Thin. Thin. That one's yeah. warm. Right, yeah. You need, you need the warm ones in this weather. Nike Air. Nike Air. Got all the, all the makes. Adidas. Adidas. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Man, they literally have everything here. Everything you want. Oh, well, extra. They look good quality. They look quality good quality, Nike. yeah. Yeah, they look Nike. good quality. Okay, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. Deal. There you go. Sold, sold, <laughs> sold, <laughs> sold, baby. 1200 dinar. I don't know if that was a steal, but it's okay. You know what? We're here to help the local economy. I don't care if I. If I get charged a few extra dollars, it's fine. There's that, and can you hold this for me, mate? Yep, no problem, no problem. Mate, <laughs> you guys hear the mate? The mate bomb's coming out. Yes. Boom! I am a proud owner. Thank you, Havala, Havala. So nice, Havala. There you go. So Chris made his purchase. He got a pair of Nike jogging bottoms for 1,200 dinar, which is 12 dollars. 12 dollars. That's pretty good. I mean, to be honest with you, would you find that price in America or England? No, no, no way. <laughs> Don't yeah. know how authentic they are, Nike, but hey, man, it co it has to cost more than that for the print job. So yeah, a little good quality though. So good you know, quality, man. Good yeah. quality stuff. So you get a lot of bang for your buck here. The prices are very reasonable. So another another reason to come to Serbia. Yeah, I've just come to Serbia from Turkey and I've noticed a difference in people out and about. The numbers of Corona are pretty low, so hence why I think it's, it's quite busy. You know, people are out and about doing their thing. So, but yeah, I'm definitely liking the vibe here. Say so people really friendly. Are people speak English, which I was surprised about. I've gone to a few shops, I'm like, do you speak English? And they're like, yes. So it helps me, you know, obviously, um, my languages are very minimal <laughs> all over the world. I can just about speak English, so I have a hard time with that. Okay, so Chris has got his drone on the go again. I don't know if you can make it out, it's up there. It's coming in quick. <laughs> and he lost his signal, which is quite worrying because you can lose, lose. <laughs> you don't want to go in the Danube, do you? Do you know what I mean? You don't want to fall in there. But we're in this uh, area at the moment. I uh, don't know whereabouts this in, is in Gardash, if you want to tell me in the comments, but you've got lots of graffiti all on the walls. So it's a residential area. Uh, there's a little park here as well. Like I say, if you're Serbian, you're from the Gardash area, you know where this is, just let us know. Yeah, nice little place to chill out. Nice little place to chill out, mate. There you go. You're clear for landing. <laughs> Damn, dude, so I think that's it. I think we saw everything we came to Gardos to see. What are your first impressions on Serbia so far? 
I'm liking what I see. Um, I'd say especially this morning, the good start with the Rekia. The coffee, <laughs> dude, it doesn't get much better than that, literally. This Rekia, is, coffee, amazing food, walking around. This is my kind of country, definitely. Alcohol first thing in the morning. I, I feel like you fit, in, you fit in perfectly, bro. Yeah, that's my cup of tea, as we say in England.